This is M0 DQW, M0 DQW, listening for any call. This is M0 DQW, Mike Zero, Delta, Quebec Whiskey. This, this is M0 DQW, M0 DQW, listening for any call. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. In this video, we're going to take a brief look at the Retivis RT9000D. Now, the RT9000D is a monoband high power mobile transceiver available in four different amateur or commercial bands. Now, the amateur bands available will be 4 meters, 1.25 meters, 2 meters, and 70 centimeters. However, each model has a wide coverage to allow for commercial use if required. Now, this particular model is the 4 meter version, which is 70 megahertz and available in Europe. The radio itself is exactly the same no matter which model you purchase. The high power output of 60 watts on VHF and 45 watts on UHF does ensure a good solid signal. Now the box includes most items you would expect when purchasing a new radio, such as a mounting bracket, power cable, manual and of course the microphone. And the microphone itself is backlit and it contains all the buttons required to access all of the radio's functions. So no messing around trying to change a power or a setting while driving. Just change the function easily from the hand microphone. Now my radio came with a programming cable as well, which allows me to use the free downloadable programming software from the Retivis website. Although the four meter version doesn't really need much programming, I was still able to use it to program in my local parrot repeater. Of course, with the 2 meter and 70 centimeter versions, you may want to program some repeaters in, and you can also use alphanumerics. I'll show you the software a bit later on in the video. The front panel contains the main large LCD along with five programmable function buttons. The mic jack is also front facing, so no messing around with side connectors. The data jack is also on the front panel along with the power volume control and a rotary encoder for changing memories or changing frequency when in VFO mode. Now the main output speaker is located on the top of the radio and is of a good size. It actually sounds pretty good. You'll also notice here that the complete chassis of the radio is essentially a heatsink. This is due to the high power of the radio and that the chassis is being used to help dissipate heat while it's in use. On the rear left side of the radio, we find an external speaker socket along with a vehicle ignition external power jack. Now this is something that I've not really seen on transceivers, but this is so you can turn the radio on and off with your vehicle's ignition. Now on the other side of that large heat sink, we find the antenna connection, which is an SO239 socket. Now it would have been nice to see an N-type socket here, but if you're really that bothered by the looks of it, you can replace it. Although I must remind you that opening the radio will void that warranty. Now the illuminated display does look rather good, especially when it's set to a blue background. Now showing this on camera doesn't really do it justice, but in real life, it does look pretty good. As mentioned earlier, each of the radio's functions and features can be controlled from the microphone. The backlit LCD also has a choice of available colors to suit your needs, but I think you can tell which is my favorite color. A program in the radio using the free software is also quite easy. Once you've found the programming cables COM port by checking device manager on your computer, you are then ready to perform an upload to read the radio settings back to the software. Here you can go ahead and change functions and features, assign functions to the radio's programmable front panel buttons or program memories into the radio. You can also choose to have an alphanumeric name for the channel, making it easy to distinguish each memory channel on the radio, which will be displayed on the LCD. Once you've configured the software and the memories how you like, it's just as simple as pressing the download button to send all that back to the radio. You can of course save this file for later editing. So I took the radio out mobile and ended up on a high spot near my home. I connected up an Ampro 4 meter antenna and then I gave out a few CQ calls on 70.450 FM. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make any direct contacts as such, but I was able to make contact with someone via a 4 meter parrot repeater, MB7 FM. Now it's called the parrot because it records your transmission and then plays it back to you on the same frequency. 
In fact, this works extremely well, and the coverage of MB7FM is actually quite good. It's just a shame I didn't make any direct contacts on the day, but I guess everyone was tucking into their Sunday roast chicken dinner. Hotel, hotel, listening in the 7FM. Uh, G3VHH, M0DQW. I think I almost heard you direct there. Go ahead. Uh, G3VHH, listening in the 7FM. Yeah, very good afternoon. The name here is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango. The call sign is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. You, Delta Quebec Whiskey uh, is the uh, suffix there. And uh, like I said, the name's Matt, Mike Alpha Tango. Just currently mobile at the moment, static mobile. Um, currently sat up on Coombe Hill, so quite high ground here. Just wondering if we might be able to work um, work Simplex if uh, if you wanted to try it. I can hear you, Simplex, but uh, I wonder if you can hear me. You'll have to wait till uh, to hear the replay. But uh, anyway, uh, this is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Yeah, very good afternoon. The name here is Matt, Mike Alpha Tango. The call sign is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. Delta Quebec Whiskey uh, is the uh, suffix there. And uh, like I said, the name's Matt, Mike Alpha Tango. Just currently mobile at the moment, static mobile. Um, currently sat up on Coombe Hill, so quite high ground here. Just wondering if we might be able to work um, work Simplex if, uh, if you wanted to try it. I can hear you, Simplex, but uh, I wonder if you can hear me. You'll have to wait till, uh, till you hear the replay. But uh, anyway, uh, this is Mike Zero Delta Quebec Whiskey. M0DQW, G3VHH. Yeah, okay, Matt. No, I can't hear you direct. I'll, uh, I'll disable the squelch if I can hear you. Um, you're getting into the WebSDR uh, directly as well. Um, yeah, okay, Matt. No, I'm not getting into the WebSDR directly as well. But, um, no. Occasionally the, uh, the squirrel flips, but um, I think my noise floor here is just a little bit high, so I don't always hear everybody that um, comes up. So there we go. Anyway, you said someone hill. I got down Clint Hill. I'm not sure whether that was right, but um, anyway. Uh, it's only got one uh, one minute time on this, so you have to be careful not to time out. I, I very often do when I'm, uh, I forget I'm on this one. Uh, back around to you, M0DQW, G3VHH. Well, there we go, the Retivis RT9000D, 4 meter, 70 megahertz model. Now, in my opinion, it's an extremely robust and great sounding radio. As you can tell from the recording there, it has a really nice punchy audio, not only on receive, but also on transmit. Now, it's just a shame there isn't too much 4 meter activity in this area, apart from when contests are on. But even then, contests are normally found on the SSB portion of the band. Now, if any of you own the 2 meter, 1.25 meter, or the 70 centimeter models, then please let me know down below what you think of them. I may get one myself as I really like that robust feel and the LCD. Don't know if I mentioned that. Well, until the next video, take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and if you want to get one, I'll leave a link down below.